Hey guys, and welcome back to Persona Q, and it seems like we've made it to another dead end event, and we're gonna see what this one is. So, Komaru suddenly dashes towards the dead end. Woof woof. Komaru barks at something. It seems Komaru-san has found something. Is this a towel twisted up into a headband? It's just lying here on the ground here. Well, this is a festival. It seems to be brand new. There's no knowing what you might use this for, but you should bring it along with you just in case. Obtain the twisted bandana. Arf! Alright, so we got a twisted bandana. Uh, so, as I was progressing through this, there seems to be a few area. Uh, these exclamation marks are the torches that I need to get lit. So I'm going to try and get through that, guys, and progress through the dungeon. So I'll see you guys soon. Alright guys, so welcome back, and we're progressing through the second floor, and it seems like we found four FOEs carrying what is a Mikoshi. Wow, look, they're carrying a Mikoshi, so this is right after the sealed door right there, so we just got around there. Don't tell me, is that an FOE? It seems that four FOEs have come together as one. Look at them carry it. This is starting to get really dangerous. Huh, I feel like there's a fifth one here. What's up, That's it, I'm gonna pound you. Cut it out. This is no time to be joking around. Observe the enemy first. Don't let its appearance distract you. Got it? Alright, let's see what we're supposed to do. I'm gonna walk forward. Okay, okay, it doesn't look like they can... Alright. Alright. Okay. If I go left, I'm fucked, right? Like... Oh, I'm not! Wait, what? Oh, what? They're pretty slow. I just went forward and then left. Alright. I... I don't know. I couldn't really see what they did. Uh, I hope... I mean, that's, I know that's not the only time we're gonna see them. So, that's pretty cool. That's, uh, four FOEs in one. That's a pretty interesting concept. Uh, I still have no idea how it works. I don't want to see, I really don't want to know how it works, to be honest. But we're going to progress through the dungeon some more, and maybe fight that monster at one point, but we'll see. Alright guys, so welcome back. We are progressing through the dungeon like we are supposed to, and Shinjiro stops to see two FOEs, so there's that thing again. Even worse, there's two of them. They're a bit far away though, but they might be the fast ones, they'll catch up real quick. Oh, then we have to get some fire. Hmm. There was a bonfire in the previous room, but it was too far away for us to carry it, uh, the flame to it. Oh, right. How are we going to get past them, Ram? Oh, everyone, look up ahead. All right, what is that? Uh, a door? Do we have to make a mad dash to the door? It seems that door leads further within the labyrinth. Please proceed cautiously, one step at a time while the FOEs are off guard. <laughs> Got it. Well, let's do this. Alright, so it seems like we have to sneak our way around. So it kind of goes this way. We gotta... Oh, Damn. he saw us. Yeah, Alright, it seems like as soon as it notices us, it's pretty much game over at that point. So, anymore. we're gonna... Alright, he does not look in this way. Oh, he saw us. I'm pretty sure he saw us. Yep, he saw us. Danger, danger! Alright, so I'm gonna try and get through this. You just gotta... I guess I gotta go through like... Oh, yeah, let's see. <sighs> Gas pant. Dude, no matter how you think about it, we barely made it out of there alive. I don't know, uh, Junpei was, uh, it was pretty far. I've calculated the distance for the door as well as the FOE's movement speed. The chances of successfully going past them without defeating them is 0.023%. It is close to impossible. Mm. I guess we need the torch after all. There's a bonfire right there. So we gotta get that one lit. No. I thought about that as well. There are no lit bonfires within the torch's range of it. It seems impossible to light it. Oh, uh, right. Huh? What? Hey, man. Uh, hey, Kanji. Uh, what's your weakness? Um, let's see. Being... Uh, pin wait, what? Pinioned? Beyond? From behind would be... Whoa! Wait, what are you asking for how to beat me? From the back, huh? <laughs> that FOE's... Light, oh my god, Latissimus Dorsey muscles are quite impressive. It's impressive. When did you start listening in, and why are you checking out its back? It walks slowly, then it goes back to the original position. It gives me some time to take a good look at it. 
stomping our feet here isn't going to do us any good. It seems we'll have to challenge this as many times as necessary until we find a way past him. I trust you, leader. Alright, so we're going to figure out how to do this. Uh, it seems that... It seems that getting this lit, the torch next to be lit, is near impossible. But also, it seems that getting past those guys are kind of hard. But uh, I am going to progress through the dungeon, and wish me luck, guys. Alright, guys, so it seems like we found another dead end request, and let's see what this one is. So, there's a sweaty, uh, sweaty, happy hanging behind this paper lantern at this dead end. Uh, I didn't have to see this. It's dripping wet. I have analyzed the components and concluded that none of it is harmful to the human body. Mm, that know. doesn't mean that it's gross. Who would want to touch that thing? Hey. hey, Mr. Textile Expert, can you do something about this? What is it? Why the hell do I have to do it? I'm it's so hot in here. I'm at my limits. Kanji, do something. Huh? Why the hell are you asking? Why are you all asking me? <laughs> huh? Aren't you the boss of this labyrinth, Kanji? What's up, punk? What's that supposed to mean? Who the hell would make this cra uh, crappy ass place like this? <laughs> Whoa! Hey, oh yeah. Hey. Quit pointing that thing at me. The request share the fun at the festival has been added. All right, cool. So we should have had to do that soon, but we're going to progress through the dungeon some more. I've gotten past a few parts, but I'm still a little confused as to what I'm supposed to do now, but we're going to continue on guys and I will see you guys soon. Alright guys, so welcome back, and I was able to get past this puzzle, and the way you do it is you lock the two in by a, uh, having one see you run back out the door, and then the other one will try to run back to its original position, blocking the pursuing one. So it's actually pretty easy uh, once you think about it, but yeah, so I was able to get past it, and now we're able to progress, and we're going to see what is beyond this door. Oh, Alright, awesome. It looks like that FOE gave up. Alright, so now there's a torch here, and we can use this torch to light the way for the torch that was at the previous room, and continue on from there. So we're gonna continue through the dungeon. I thought there was gonna be a little cutscene or something here, but I guess not. But anyways guys, we're gonna continue through this, and hopefully get through the dungeon through this episode. So I'll see you guys soon, and I hope to see you at the end of the- Alright, so literally three seconds later, we went through a door, and it seems to have an already lit bonfire, which is kind of weird. So inside the room is a little oddly muggy, possibly because of the bonfire is already lit. Damn, Damn this key is exhausted. Oh, it's actually a cutscene, so let's check it out. So take your hat off. No, he likes his hat. Shut up. Yeah, he, it's like a double D from Da Ed and Eddie. Um, why are you always so bundled up? He's cold. Huh? Yeah, I got my reasons. Uh, he's scarred. I see. Ken <laughs> just gave up. An odd silence settles over the room. <laughs> and he <laughs> destroys that silence. We've been ambushed. Teddy's been hit. No, <laughs> maybe. Well, he's just dried up. I believe he'll return to normal if we pour water on him. That's actually pretty cool. Where'd you get the water? I'm alive again. I thought I was gonna turn into bear jerky. How is bear jerky, Teddy? What? How does that work? <laughs> Teddy's true identity is revealed as a form of pasta. <laughs> Teddy is pasta. Confirmed. Teddy, are you linguine? Linguine. Are you, tomato sauce? are you a fundamental part of Italian food? Of course. Tomato sauce? <laughs> That's right. I'm a bear necessity for every family. The bear necessity. I love it. No Don't ever change. You. What? But I really do feel like I'm gonna dry up. I'm all sweaty. Well, everyone has like jackets. <laughs> oh god, Agiko. Okay. I mean no way. Well, suit yourself. Don't mind if I do though. No, <laughs> okay. Do you understand that what you're saying could be considered sexual harassment? Akihiko doesn't know. Impossible. Sexual, what? It's hot. <laughs> to take your clothes off. There's nothing wrong with that. Akihiko. Yeah, Akihiko. There you go. Just think of the heat as an endurance match and power through. Oh, Junpei, the other idiot, is <laughs> telling the other idiot to do. Match, huh? All right then. I accept its challenge. It, it's pretty hot out, and everybody is wearing a huh? jacket. Just oh God. Huh. Not up to the challenge. What? All right. 
I, well, he's in a jacket. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The old memory's coming out. That's because you dared me not to leave the tub until you counted to a thousand, you moron. Wait, and, and you, you did it? Too. <laughs> yeah, but I made it to 839. <laughs> Perfect time. Let's get closer All right. to the fire. First one to take off some clothes or complain loses. Okay, here we go. So I guess we're going to have a little competition. You're wrong. It's too cool. All right, Akihiko and Shinjiro walk closer to the bonfire. Uh, are they doing their usual rival thing? This usually leads to some kind of trap. I mean, it happened in the like, Alice in Wonderland one. You just had to go and provoke them. What are we gonna do about this? Absolutely nothing, Yukari. Although, Watch. There's something charming about it. It's like those two are real friends. Of course they are. But that kind of crap's only allowed up until about Ken's age. N nope. A lifetime. I Get in pointless fights like that. Okay, Ken. granted, the reasons for it are pretty stupid. Yukari, I, Yukari has a point, but I you believe. Can't speak your mind and butt heads like that unless you trust the other person. Dun dun dun. That's why. Oh, sorry, it's nothing. <laughs> well, you got a point. It feels like our senpai are hiding a lot of stuff from us after all. Yeah, I mean, probably. I asked him when they got their persona abilities. They just dodged the question. All right. Well, there's some Persona 3 knowledge that you guys need to know. I can tell you. Uh, spoiler alert. So, Shinjiro dies. Uh, and Shinjiro had the... He was the one that killed Ken's mother. So, that's why it was like a huge, deba huge debacle. Are that unreliable to them? That's why they won't tell them. So, uh, maybe we aren't. That's not true. That's not true. Oh, you, you if I'm gonna do this. I wanna know I'm useful in battle. Sometimes that doesn't seem like enough. Well, well, Yukari, uh, you are very useful. You are the it's biggest healer, and you have the biggest mana pool. Well, it's not gonna affect us in battle. So should we chalk it up to a subtle and mature relationship? No, I like the immature one. Mature, huh? Oh, that reminds me. How are those two holding up? Oh yeah, we gotta go to that fire. Pretty red there. Uh, take off that coat. <laughs> My coat's a handicap for you. It'd be boring to win too easily. Oh, uh, Shinjiro with the hot caca. What? Don't be ridiculous. I got gloves on both hands too. He's got his hands in his pockets. Cap on top of that. Just admit defeat. They're gonna pass out. The two of them are starting to act very strangely. An ocean on fire. <laughs> Waves from a sea of protein crashing against a white beach of protein. Is this heaven? <laughs> what is in that fire? You moron. If you go that way, you're right in the path of Korochan's death ray. Death ray. Uh, Korochan. My eyes. Are you guys okay? Hello? Hello? They're starting to hallucinate. Yep, there. we stop them? Yeah, we gotta go get them. No, their quarrels are exacerbated because we tend to stop them halfway. We gotta let them go. For them to go at it with no restraints once in a while. Uh um, it's true. I didn't let them go. That from you. What do you mean? She's scared. That's why. She's scared to go oh, in. Oh, um, nothing. All right. Okay. Are they gonna pass out? Then they're out. Hey. They passed out. Time well, it's hot. Going we'll drag those two along with us. <laughs> there you go. All right. So in this area, we got the torch, which is awesome. And we need that to unlock some more of the areas. So this one's already lit. And we've passed a few that weren't lit. And we're going to use this one to basically daisy chain our way all the way back. Anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time.